Hi, I've finished the final book from the book along list in Ascension a um, couple of days after the shortlist was announced. Um, if you saw my predictions video, um, I hadn't made up my mind whether this would bump um, any of the ones on my top six off and um, it wouldn't. Um, if I'd have read it for my predictions video, in time for my predictions video, I'd have said that it didn't make my top six, but it was one I expected on the short, short list. As it was, it didn't make the short list. Um, it intrigued me because of the idea, the idea that um, Lee, our protagonist, is looking at everything she knows about our beginnings is investigating. Um, she's travelling the world studying ancient organisms and what she's finding is, is calling into question all sorts of things and that intrigued me. Looking at it, it is a sci-fi novel, uh, 500 pages and there are huge sections of science in here. Um, it, it, it almost called to mind Andy Weir's The Martian because in that there's huge sections of science. And the same with this, there's, there's huge sections of my, of about my um, micro, my, I get it right in a second, marine biology and space and all that sort of thing. There's, there's lots of technical stuff. Um, but it didn't, stop the novel, if that makes sense. Lee is studying, if I can get this right, unicellular algae, um, believing that it's, it's instrumental in the creation of life and using it, trying to investigate its use as a food source, being able to use its properties, especially for space travel, so for long journeys, using this algae, which continues to grow and develop and to use this as a food source, investigating how it can be used and whether it can be used. It's also a novel that touches on, on climate change and the acceleration. And that's one reason why I thought that it would pop into the shortlist because of it seemed to be ticking lots of boxes. It's primarily a science fiction story um, and our main character, as I said, is Lee. She's a marine biologist. She grew up in Rotterdam and um, she got a, a sister, Helena. Uh, she grew up with a mother, Fena, and a father who was violent. So you get a bit of her backstory. The first part she goes, she joins uh, an expedition um, because there's a deep sea vent that they want to investigate that is seems to be far deeper than anything they know about. And then she gets recruited to a secret space mission. And her role on is to develop the use of this algae for long term, um, long term space travel. And yes, we, we have the space journeys and that sort of stuff. It's slow paced. It is very, very slow paced, which is okay. But my problem with this was Lee. Um, I think I touched on this in my predictions video. I found Lee, and to a certain extent, the others, very, very two-dimensional. There were cardboard cutouts. Um, there were, I, I, even now, I do not have a picture of Lee in my mind. You know, some books you read and the hero, the heroine, the villain, they, they pop into your head and as you're reading you can see them you can see their faces you can see everything about them 
I cannot even now see Lee. There's just, just, I I can't. Um, And to a certain extent, it's the same with the other characters. There was, for me, there was no character development. Um, And for this book to have worked for me, I, I wanted to see her. I wanted to be able to engage her. How can you engage with a cardboard cutout? You can't. Um, her sister Helena, who we didn't get an awful lot of, um, she was the more interesting character. But even I, I couldn't even see her. I, I couldn't see any of the characters really. Um, this is why it didn't work for me. Um, the sections in space uh, are interesting. I, I like that. I like the um, I like the interaction with the characters with these cardboard cutouts. I, l- I like the interaction there. Um, and I enjoyed the, the sections in the ocean. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And there's the darkness as well. You've got darkness, you've got light, and you've got the idea, cleverly, of ascension. Because in the sea, she ascends to the surface. In space, she ascends. Um, Ascension Island is where the space shuttles are coming back to. You know, you've got the idea of ascension, uh, which I thought was very clever in that. Um, it was a sort of, it was, I half enjoyed it, but I wanted so much more with the characters. So that's In Ascension by Martin McInnes. Um, I've now finished the whole of their book along list. So I've got to go and find something else to read now. Um, What am I going to read? So happy reading. Take care.